right, today I'm going to show you how to do a spark and compression test on a, I want to say it's a 98 Johnson 115. I've already got the cowling off and I've already got most of it hooked up. I'm going to show you what we've done. All right, so basically I've got a spark tester hooked up with these two leads going to my spark plugs. And you try to make sure to keep these off of the engine block because they will ground out and you'll get a false reading. Over here as well. To this side. And then I've got a starter button. See the red light's illuminated. And it is wired up to two different posts on the starter solenoid. The first one being your battery in, and the second being your yellow with red stripe, which is your ignition voltage. Now I've got my, these are my grounds coming off of my spark tester. You gotta send that voltage somewhere or it'll fry your electronics. Now, we get our trusty compression gauge. We're going to go into the number one cylinder. Let's clean this off first. Now, I'm only going to show you one cylinder and the spark test. You can figure out the other three. compression gauge so we're going to set it in here where we can see it like so we can see our spark all right so first things first we're going to check the spark we're just going to spin it over real quick and look for spark in these four spots right here Now we watch our compression gauge, and we're going to spin it to the needle quits jumping, which it already has, so let me reset it. Alright, and we're sitting a little above 90, about 92. Alright, and then of course... You just move your compression gauge to your other cylinders. Um, oh, one piece I forgot to tell you. Um, your ignition key has to be on in order for the spark to work. Uh, otherwise, you won't get any spark. Um, and that's it. And then you can turn your ignition key off. Um, and you'll be able to get the rest of your compression readings. Alright. Enjoy. Enjoy.